Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse. Just a quick update today. I'm actually uh, on the road and I wanted to share with y'all just a few pointers to keep us focused in the midst of everything. All around the country right now, um, there are obviously an increase in cases. And I'm also seeing in the part of the country where I'm currently at, there's a lot of good people who are keeping their faith and keeping their focus in the midst of everything. But there is definitely a spirit of fear that we are coming headlong against in a battle. And it's a tendency, it was a tendency even before all of this, to be short with people in public. And believe me, like, I get it. And I have definitely had my share of weak moments as far as having patience for other people, especially annoying strangers and slow drivers. Not a fan of slow drivers. Um, but I'm noticing also that there just tends to be this kind of air of self-righteousness of putting ourselves above other people for our choices you know to wear or not wear a mask or whatever the case may be and i just want to encourage even if people are short with you to try and have patience and not escalate and i'm saying this to myself too um, i was actually at the the hotel where i'm staying at there were some children who were playing uh, near one of the elevators and there was an older couple who you know, got on the elevator or they were waiting to queuing, waiting to get on the elevator and they were masked up. And frankly, they were just very, very nasty. They were very nasty. They were very self-righteous. They were exceptionally condescending. When I say older, you know, I'm saying maybe like maybe in their sixties, like mid sixties. Okay. And I don't know everything that went on before then, God forbid, you know, I'm not saying that I'm om omniscient, but they were very nasty and cruel and mean to these little children. Um, there's only two little boys and they were maybe like five, seven years old. They're just kids. Right, and the kids wanted to get on the elevator with them, and they're like, "No, we're social distancing. We're social distancing," and they were just nasty to these children. And so, anyway, you know, I happened to see this, and so I was talking to the children afterwards. I said, "You know, children, they were probably very, very stressed, and I'm sorry that you had to to see that. You know, but you did a good thing by stepping out of the elevator and letting them go on. And you know, they're they're kids, so they roll with the punches on these things." But it just, I just thought to myself, I thought, what does it say about us? The way that we interact with people and the way that we treat people. You know, like, if people are going to be so cruel and nasty and vitriolic to each other in good, in the best of times, you know, that we've seen in the past few years just because of political issues. Now we've got the marrying of political issues with the excuse to set our own selves up on the pedestal, you know, based on our choices and just talk down to people. And I, I'm just not cool with that. You know, I don't, I don't think that that's the way forward. I think the way to help each other in times like this is to be kind to each other because guys, I can tell you story after story after story of people who have stayed in their homes and cloistered themselves away. And they're just, they in person, regardless of what their issues were, struck me as very depressed, very dark, very soulless, gutted people. Um, and they evangelized that emotional state to other people in their sphere. And so I want to encourage us as best as possible without sounding judgmental, because again, I've had my own weak moments. Oh, have I had them and being short tempered with people. But I think we all do. So it's just having grace for people and mercy for people. And also within our own families, just building each other up in love, right? Because we need love. We need each other and we need encouragement from people in our lives who are dear to us. And so I just wanted to share that bit with you. I hope it was helpful for y'all today. If you did enjoy the video, I hope you'll subscribe to me here on YouTube. You can also support me on Patreon and Subscribestar as well as Cryptocurrency. And I got links to all that in the description box below. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you'll continue in fasting and prayer initiatives with me on Thursday. I, I believe wholeheartedly that we need the Lord and we need to be sensitive to the power of the Holy Spirit right now. And we need to be listening quietly in our spirits and being humble and quiet before the Lord. And I believe that if we seek him, that he, he will make himself found by us and he will guide us in all things and all ways. For now, it's Patriot Nurse signing off and I'll see y'all later. Bye.